and welcome to Soundcheck. And on today's show, we've had a fabulous set from Hicktown Breakout. Um, I want to start by, well, I'll get the band to introduce themselves. To my left. Hi, I'm Darren. And what do you do? I'm vocals acoustic. <laughs> <laughs> bit further over. Hi, I'm Zach. Yeah, and you play a bit of guitar. I, I, just a bit of guitar. Yeah. Hi, I'm Steve, and another bit of guitar from me. All right, OK, on to my right. Uh, I'm Tom. Uh, I'm the drummer. <laughs> and finally, I'm Jason and I play bass. Great, thanks very much. I thought that was a stonking set. Um, Thank you. Really, really good. Um, and for people that um, kind of take, uh, watch country music and sort of, you know, take note of, of the different kind of styles of country music, I think what I take away from it is that although you did, I think you did three covers out of the ten sort of songs, so yeah. seven originals, in, in the originals, some of the sound in there is definitely a UK rock sound blended with that sort of American country rock sort of sound. Is, is that... Have I got that right? Yeah, well, I mean, we all come from kind of a rock background and we, we found... I've always been a big country fan, but yeah. um, a lot of us found country a bit later on. Mm. And because um, we, we've got that rock in us, mm. it comes out in what we write. Yeah, So yeah. It's always got a country soul to it. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, it sounded to me in places where there was uh, a legacy of Zeppelin in there. Yeah. Is that right? I've got your nods from over there. <laughs> <laughs> got me, eh, mate? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, Darren's absolutely right. I mean, I've, um, as a guitarist, always been into rock, Zeppelin. Yeah. I've got a couple of years on these guys, ACDC. Yeah. Um, you know, sort of, and my style of guitar has sort of had to change for yeah. country. So I've almost had to forget what I used to know, yeah, and then relearn yeah. it. Yeah. And I think the inherent rock's still in there, and I think it that goes throughout all of us. Definitely is. I think it it takes some of those songs into another place rather than just being country rock songs, which you know often people dismiss, which I think is unfair. But it's um, it, it definitely gives it a distinctive kind of UK feel, which I guess must be what you really want, you know, to achieve. Yeah, I mean, we found that it's very hard to pigeonhole us into one sort of area, but mm. we've always, we always want that country twang behind what we do. Mm. But um, we're, our inner rocker always comes free. Yeah, you know? yeah, definitely. Um, OK, I'm going to sort of turn this way now. <laughs> so from a, a drumming perspective, I guess the um, some of that kind of UK rock sound comes from you. Yeah. Yeah, so, like, oh, yeah. I just sort of try and spice it up a little bit, get more of the heavier sound while yeah. Darren over here does sort of the lighter work. I think me, Steve, Jason and Zach all come from, like, a harder, yeah. harder, like, rock. What, sort of bit sort of Sabbath and what have you? Yeah, yeah, yeah all, the, all the classics. Yeah. And uh, I think it sort of just yeah. goes in one, doesn't it, really? It works really I mean, well, yeah, I yeah. Think, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, mm. that's... Yeah. yeah, and same thing with you on, on, on the bass. Yeah, it's, again, it was, it was like Steve said, you're, you're taking what you know and you're trying to sort of learn a new style to mm. fit in with what we do. Mm. So it's not always easy because, mm. yeah, your roots always come through. So mm. you've got to try and sort of reel it back to keep that mm. sort of country flow going. Yeah, but it, but it makes something new, doesn't it? Yeah, it, yeah. it gives us a good sound, good sound. Um, in, in the set, you did, uh, I think you said it's three covers, but they are from kind of like the, the the rocks you know there's rock gods the country yeah. rock gods cma winners oh, yeah. all the way through yeah um and uh, whilst sometimes i think bands that play covers it feels just um it feels wrong but in the context of your set it it felt more like we're doing our own stuff but this is also where we've you know got our um, influences from yeah, I mean, I've always been a Hootie fan. Hmm. So doing Wagon Wheel was Darius Rucker. Yeah. 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 And um, it felt natural, you know. Yeah. I, I love what Darius does. He's mm. one of my favourite country artists. <clears throat> mm. And um, as I say, having a background with Hootie, yeah. I had to do that song. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you've got the... Well, not quite the Chris Stapleton beard, but <laughs> <laughs> it's getting that way. Yeah, he's got my beard. <laughs> he's got your beard, yeah. Yeah. Um, what I haven't done really is uh, asked you about your background because we've, we've jumped straight into the kind of like the music and, um, and, what, and what you played. But you've been around, I mean, you played with us about four years ago. Um, 
And, uh, you know, that was a great set then. But, I mean, I think things have moved on quite a long way in those few years. Yeah, they have. I and mean, we've got um, a great new bass player for a start. <laughs> what, him over there? Jason, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and we, we found our sound, you know. It takes a long time. I mean, we started off as kind of a covers band. We just yeah. wanted to introduce people to, um, you know, the rockier side of country music because mm. people just didn't know. No, no. You know, it's one of those genres that people think, country music, Dolly Parton, I'm not interested, mm. you know. But when you delve deeper into it, mm. I mean, I introduced Steve to Jason Aldean, mm. yeah? And when you hear Jason Aldean, you think, mm. what is that, you know? I was going to say, I remember the day, so we were just quitting our last band. Yeah. And um, I remember Darren turned up in my house and said, um, we're going to go country. And I looked at him going, really? Mm-hmm. And, he, and, I was, and I thought, not that I've got anything wrong against Dolly. Dolly Parton's absolute, yeah, yeah. she's a legend. But yeah. is, that's a style of yeah. music I haven't really got myself into. Um, yeah. As I say, Darren just fired up a couple of Jason Aldean songs. Mm. I was hooked, absolutely. And actually, the name Hicktown yeah. was born from, from that artist. So we, we added Breakout on it just yeah. for a bit of fun why and it stuck. But yeah, why not? <laughs> so, yeah, an interesting um, yeah. path where we are. I mean, after COVID got in the way, yeah. we were getting yeah. a really good momentum. And then, as all bands, yeah. you know, that, that was um, tough. We couldn't yeah. do live streams. We just had problems with that. So, um, the, waited uh, out and. The pause. Yeah, yeah, I'm back on it now. Yeah. So it's all good. Yeah, I mean, I've been watching some of the short videos that Keith Urban's been doing in the last sort of couple of months which basically is just him just sort of like wanging out on his guitar a lot of the time. Absolutely brilliant. Um, I don't think I'll ever get a chance to see him, to be honest, but um, he, he sort of sums up to me that energy that you get from a sort of like a country rock band just blistering it on the stage. Yeah, I mean, I love the fact that he's, he's, he's really passionate about what he does, you yeah. know, and it comes out on stage every time. It's mm. brilliant. The yeah. same with Brad Paisley. I mean, Brad Paisley is one of my favourite artists. Mm. So he's, he's one of the best guitarists yeah. that I've ever seen. Yeah. yeah, he's another one of those kind of country rock gods, isn't he? Yeah, he's yeah, brilliant. He's been there for yeah. quite a while. Yeah, and won just about everything that you can win. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, they do seem to take it sort of so seriously over in the states. With you know the, those level of the awards, it, it's kind of like the Oscars almost, isn't it? Of, of music, the CMAs and things. Oh yeah, I mean country is so much bigger than like, any other sort of music over mm. there. I mean, it's, yeah. it's, it's their music. It speaks about their background. I think someone once said to me that it was the white man's soul. Yeah, I totally agree with that, yeah. Yeah. OK, so, right, back to today. Um, you've told us a bit about your background, and, um, and we obviously have heard the sort of set. Um, releases, singles, albums. If people want to get hold of your stuff, what do they do? Right, so the last single we released was Born To Be Free. Yeah, which you played. Which we played earlier, yeah. And um, all of our stuff is available on iTunes and Spotify and all other media outlets, basically. Yeah, and um, I can't remember if you've got an album or two. No, we haven't got an album. We've got um, two EPs and two singles. Right. So. so what's the plan? And Is it planned to sort of just carry on doing it as EPs and things, or are you going to...? Yeah, no, we do plan to do an album, but it won't be till next year. We want to get... Yeah. It's right writing songs, but you want to write the best songs. You want to yeah. get if it's going to be our album, it's going to be yeah. a great album. Yeah, and I, I guess it's also good to write the songs and then hone them on stage, get them so that you really know them inside out before you record. Yeah, them. yeah. I want to see the audience reaction before we put it onto yeah. um, onto vinyl. Onto, onto vinyl. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay. And what about gigs? Um, I, I know it is, at the moment it's uh, what are we September October time. So we're getting towards the end of the year and the festival season is sort of over, but I guess you're sort of looking for next year? Um, yeah, we've, um, we've had a really busy festival season. We've had Rock and Ribs, all the foodies festivals uh, and a few others. But now we've, um, we've got a gig at Z Alley in November the 18th. Right. That's with Danny McMahon. Mm-hmm. And we're hosting a night at the Louisiana on the 23rd of December. Right. Which would be a great night. So if you want to come along to that, yeah, yeah we are a headline act for that. <laughs> Why do I know Danny McMahon's name? Tell me, why, why he's, should I...? Um, yeah, he's, he's won quite a few awards. UK, yeah. sort of UK country singer. Right. Um, yeah. And I've, I've seen his name around, but I don't know if I know his stuff. He's been around for a while. He, yeah, we work mm. with him. He, he runs Puzzles Maker as well, studios. Mm. So mm. all our recordings pretty much all by one EP. We've right. always done it through him. Yeah. So we've got a bit of a... So he knows his stuff him. as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but yeah, he's a great, great guy, and we're doing a gig share yeah. uh, with him. Then he's actually coming on our lineup 
in the December the 23rd, isn't it? Yep. Louisiana and Bristol. All oh, right, just before Christmas. Yeah, we've got another band called Concrete Prairie, who are a country I've seen folk. Some of their stuff They're online. Awesome. Absolutely wicked. Yeah. So three of us, like power bands, mm. um, should be a wicked. Be a you know, uh, yeah, Friday night. It's the last yeah. Friday before Christmas. <clears> so. Get so your drink on. <laughs> that's the 23rd of December in the Louisiana. 23rd Bristol. of December, yeah. And the Z Alley one is the 18th, 18th of November. Of November. Yeah. Right. And for next year, we've already got Rock, uh, Rock and Rivers booked us already straight away, yeah. literally the day after, which that's is brilliant. Um, we've got applications out for Country and the Coast. Hmm. It's likely we're going to be on that. Um, and then we've got a couple of other festivals uh, who have sort of acknowledged interest. We're just waiting for confirmation. So, yeah, yeah a few things spinning already for next year. Great. OK, yeah. well... Can I thank you for a stonking set this evening, chaps? Um, thank you very much for listening and for watching, and uh, keep looking out for our shows. The next one will be in a few weeks' time. Thank you very much, and good night.